Hey, what's up? JC with Wrong or Strong. Today I'm gonna give you the survival kit just in case you wake up in Mexican prison. We all know that as Americans, we like to go to Rocky Point, all these vacation spots, drink, do drugs, go to strip clubs, and then something can go bad. So, I'm gonna give you the survival kit. I hope you don't end up there, but let's get into this video. I never heard of it. The Mad Max Mexican. If you're in Mexico doing the barrio cartel, that's when I first heard about it. First heard about it. He was a legend. They used to say he was the biggest Mexican they'd ever seen. El AJC, una historia en el camino La vida le dio duras lecciones desde niño Se fue creciendo entre las drogas y las calles Chicago Gangster, muchas malas amistades Solo quería ser el dueño de su imperio Y le costaron muchos viajes hacia México La vida es chula, compa Entre cantinas y las viejas con tequila Mucha droga, compa JC tenía un futuro ya seguro Con 17 se tornaría muy oscuro Iba de vuelta con rumbo para USA Iba cargado pero lo paró un retén Y así comienza la otra parte de su vida Encarcelado por una mala movida Hey, what's up? My name is JC I am Wrong Strong If you're new to my channel, make sure you subscribe Hit the bell so you don't miss nothing Thumbs up, thumbs down Hey, tell me what you think If you're part of my crew, you already know Suance la Suburban We're gonna take a ride to Mexico Rocky Point, Cancun, Acapulco you know, I know a lot of Americans that like to go party in Mexico. They go party over there like girls gone wild. And after all the drugs and everything were out of your system, make sure that if you wake up in a prison cell, just make sure that you're not like in a border town in Arizona or California or New Mexico, that technically you're still in the US. But find out that you are in Mexico. That's one. And New Mexico is not Mexico. All right? That's one. Determine if you are in Mexico. That's number one. We're gonna get that one out the way. Two, what did you do? Can you pay your way out? There's a big difference between being drunk and getting caught with a joint. You may be able to pay your way out. But please, do not get pulled over with a hundred keys of coke and say it's for personal use. All you're gonna do is piss off the cops and the judge and they will slam you with a hundred years because you try to be funny. This leads me to three. Be good at bribing people. <laughs> Mexican cops love bribes, sure. A hundred bucks goes a long way over there, but that's just gonna get you out of like pissing on the street, getting caught with a joint, small shit like that. Give with an open heart. Think about your future if you're getting caught with just bigger stuff. Just give like you're at church. You know what I mean? Don't be afraid. A hundred dollars ain't shit in Mexico no more. <laughs> Number four. Contact the American Council ASAP. They will help you. They used to come and talk to me once a month. They used to bring me like, you know, uh, sweaters, jackets, um, even a, a bottle of vitamins that I used to sell every month because, you know, Mexicans love American stuff. <laughs> and if those vitamins, you know, they, they, can, they can even help you make a little extra money while you're in there or even make some friends. You know, you gotta play it smart, you know? Number five, don't piss nobody off in the jail. Just give them your shoes. Remember, the drug cartel has this thing where they actually like to like chop people's heads off and like put it on YouTube. <laughs> Six, make friends. Go back, you know, be nice. Uh, uh, 
No one ever died about, no one ever died being too friendly. Well, yes, they have. But you know what I'm saying. Just be nice, don't be a fucking asshole. Don't think that you're better than nobody there. You know what I mean? You'll run into a lot of like poor people and stuff like that. But don't think that you're better. They might be the best ally that you have in there. So make sure that you make friends. And they know the ropes there. So it might be in your best interest to actually make a compadre. You know what I mean? Seven. Learn Spanish as fast as you can. You're going to be there for a while if it's a bigger, you know, case or more. Yeah, I had a buddy in the prison where I was at. He was from Detroit, Michigan. Mike, if he was talking Spanish and you were turning somewhere else and you weren't seeing him, you would think that he was straight up Mexican. He picked up Spanish so fast. You, you, you'll be surprised how fast you pick up a language when you're actually your life depends on it. <laughs> Eight, the prison shower rules are international. It doesn't matter whether you're in Europe, USA, Mexico, South Africa, it doesn't fucking matter. Do not drop the soap. Back to the wall. Always keeping an eye on who's next to you, who's in front of you, who's in back of you, everything. Always protect the exit only Oh, that sounds bad. <laughs> Nine, being stabbed is really bad. Trust me, I know. <laughs> so try to avoid it. Stay up to date on your tetanus shots. <laughs> Mexicans, you know, have a thing where their shanks are not very clean like American ones are. So you might not die of the stabbing, you might just die of the infection. It's a joke, guys. <laughs> Number 10. In Mexico, a lot of the inmates like to dig their way out of their sentence. I don't know if it's like uh, allowed to try and escape over there because a lot of people did it while I was doing time over there. They'll dig holes underneath. I mean, El Chapo did it. <laughs> a lot of people have done it. So if you're going to do a lot of time, I mean, fuck it. Give it a run for its money. What do you got to lose? If you're doing 25 years, hey, it's like that movie Samsung Production, right? It took him only 21 years to dig, dig himself out. I do this videos, man. I hope you got a laugh. I hope you, you smiled because at the end of the day, man, it's all about motivation, about staying out of prison, you know, getting your life together and, and not, not falling, you know, to all that negativity that's out in the world right now with everything that's going on and everything, you know? It's just, it's you remember, you control your mood of the day. You set the tone. If you wake up pissed, guess what? You're gonna be pissed the rest of the day. If you wake up in a good mood, you can be in a good mood today. Don't worry about things you cannot change. Don't stress about yesterday. Don't worry about the future. Live in today. My name's JC. I am Ron Strong. I hope you enjoyed my survival kit just in case you end up in Mexican prison. Like I said, this whole week is going to be just about Mexican prison stuff. I hope you enjoy the videos, the segments, whatever you want to call them. Hey, don't judge nobody. Stay in your lane. Live savage. Give somebody a hug. And remember, you only have one life to live. But if you live it right, out of jail, sober, guess what? It's going to be a good life. I love you guys. I'll check you guys on the rebound.